at some point in our lives, we're going to experience a puncture. On average, we get a puncture about once every five years. When this happens, it's really important to know what to do. But first, I just want to explain why Toyota, like lots of other manufacturers, are using tyre repair kits, often as an alternative to a spare wheel. Excess weight is the enemy of fuel efficiency, so not carrying a spare wheel can make a real difference and that's good for everybody. Using a tyre repair kit can be quicker, safer and have you back on the road in less time. Now I'd like to take you through what to do when you get a puncture and how to use your tyre repair kit. Firstly, when you feel that you have a puncture, you should stop your car safely and away from traffic if possible. Ensure you turn on the hazard lights and apply the parking brake so the car doesn't move accidentally. Then locate and examine the puncture. And remember, there are some circumstances when the tyre repair kit shouldn't be used. Don't use the kit on punctures more than 4mm in diameter. Do not use if the wheel rim is damaged. And don't use if the tyre has been flat or at low pressure for an extended period. Having found the tyre with the puncture, I've examined the wheel and that's not damaged. So in this instance, we can use the tyre repair kit. Now, to make sure that the demonstration of our repair is as clear as possible, we're going to head back into our workshop to repair the puncture. So here we are back in the workshop and we've established we can repair this tyre. So in this case, we've got a screw in the tyre, which is a fairly common occurrence. But what you must remember not to do is remove it. The Toyota tyre repair kit is located in the boot under the false floor. The tyre repair kit consists of a compressor, which we use to reinflate the tyre after we've repaired it, and a bottle of sealant, which we use to seal the hole. So the first thing you need to do is install a sticker to the wheel. This shows it's got sealant in the tyre. And there's another sticker, which must be applied to the A-pillar, to remind you to change the wheel at the next opportunity. You then take the bottle, remove the valve cap, and screw on the sealant bottle. Make sure you do it up securely so there's no leaks. Then remove the cap from the end of the sealant bottle. And unravel the hose at the back of the compressor. Screw that hose onto the sealant bottle. Again, nice and tight. Then take the compressor, unravel the wiring. This we can now plug into the auxiliary socket inside the car. So with the compressor connected, have the engine running in non-hybrid vehicles, or if it's a hybrid vehicle, have the ready light on. You can now turn on the compressor. It should take no longer than 10 minutes to reach an acceptable inflation. Once it has, switch off the compressor and press the yellow button to test the pressure in the tire. We've now reinflated the tire, and so you can remove the sealant bottle from the valve and reinstall the valve cap. If the tyre does not reach the minimum pressure stated in the owner's manual, you will need to contact the AA for recovery. That's it for now, so put the tyre repair kit back in the car, but remember, you'll need it again shortly. You then need to drive two or three miles, as the sealant you've now pumped into the tyre needs to spread itself around and over the punctured area. Drive with caution, as at this point, the tyre is not yet fully reinflated. Once you have driven two or three miles, stop and re-examine the tyre. If it appears damaged, you should call the AA. If it looks okay, refit the kit and continue to inflate the tyre to the pressure listed in your handbook. At this point, you've repaired the tyre and the car is safe to drive. But make sure you don't exceed 50 miles per hour. Accelerate, brake, and corner gently. 
we recommend you go to a Toyota Center as soon as you can. Thanks for watching, and remember, the repair we've carried out today is only a temporary measure. You need to visit your nearest Toyota Center at your earliest convenience. If you need any more information about Toyota tire repair kits, please visit our blog.